assalamu alaikum uh, uh, we are going to discuss uh, roy's identity uh, we discuss in the properties of the indirectly function the fifth property of the indirectly function is the roy's identity and now we say that what is basically the practical significance of the roy's identity we will discuss that uh, so uh, we will just discuss the basic uh, thing number one we will have this utility function any utility function we can have but we are just taking an example of the two good case and the Cobb-Douglas utility function so if we have this utility function and subject to constraint the budget constraint by using the Lagrange multiplier methods we can easily achieve we can easily calculate the machine demand function and the machine demand function by using this uh, uh, utility function is m over px alpha over alpha plus beta and y machine demand function is m over py and alpha beta over alpha plus beta so this is the utility function this is the machine demand function so what is basically the works of the y identity we will discuss here so we can say that the royal identity is basically the relationship between the Marshall and demand function and the indirect utility function. So this is a basically a relationship between the Marshall and demand function and the indirect utility function. If these Marshall and demand function we will plug in the main utility function, so we will get the in this indirect utility function we discuss in the detail in the indirect utility function concepts. So what happens basically the utility function is the function of the x and y but the indirect utility function is the function of the prices of x, prices of y and income. So this is the indirect utility function, this is the utility function, this is the Marshall in demand function. Now we discuss that what is the Roy's identity and what the identity basically discuss that if we have if we have indirect utility function which is v so what happens we can find from the indirect utility function to the machine in demand function this is the raw identity <coughs> because let's suppose uh, if we are getting the direct indirect utility function and someone asks that what will be the machine in demand function so Roy Andre says that this property can calculate the machine in demand function what ha uh, uh, what happens when we apply the Roy Andre so take the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to px then divided by this partial derivative with the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to m so if we will first pass take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to x then divided the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income and we will just multiply the negative sign so negative of this term will gives you the Marshall in demand function of x because we are taking derivative with respect to px similarly if you will want to calculate the Marshall in demand function y so we will take the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to py and then indirect utility function with respect to income so the negative of this term we will get the Marshall in demand function of uh, so this is basically Roy's identity now we prove that we have this indirect utility function and we are applying this identity so first we will take the partial derivative of this indirect utility function with respect to px so uh, the complete term m alpha plus beta this is the constant will go outside and then we will treat uh, px so 
when we it comes in the numerator so the power of px will be the negative and because we are taking the derivative with respect to px so it will be the minus alpha and minus and alpha minus one minus alpha minus one okay in the second step we will take the derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to m so this term and this term will be considered as a co uh, constant and will uh, definitely will move the outside 1 over px alpha py beta so this has gone been outside and we will take the derivative of the m with this because this is with respect to m so the power will be in the uh, in the base and we will just subtract the minus one from power so this is basically apply of the row identity now we will use we will solve the algebraically so this term has been categorically removed out cancel out and uh, even uh, py py also cancel out and simple we will have these terms so remaining terms will be solved algebraically in this way so the next step is that simply this is the m power a alpha plus beta and this is the m power alpha plus beta minus 1 in the numerator in the denominator this is in the numerator so it will go in the numerator so this will be the alpha plus beta minus alpha minus beta plus 1 so simply the alpha plus beta will be cancelled out and remaining we will have only the single m then we will work on the alpha and beta this is alpha plus beta in the base this is alpha in the base but with the negative sign this negative sign will go outside and the remaining term is alpha divided by alpha plus beta like this now we will work on the px this px will come in the numerator so it will be the minus alpha like this and this is in the numerator and will come in the denominator so it will be plus and this plus minus one will convert into the plus one finally we will have minus m over px alpha over alpha plus beta so if we will have indirect utility function and we will apply their row identity so we can easily find out the negative marginal demand function so this is a basically technique this is a property uh, that we can directly can get the marginal demand function from the indirect utility function similarly we will apply this machine demand function on the y uh, on the uh, for for the calculation of the machine demand function of y so what happens So we are taking the indirect utility function with respect to the py. So simply we will get this derivation and uh, the same as we performed in the earlier the indirect utility function with respect to m we will get this term and we will solve it. So this term this term has been removed and px and px has been removed. Now we will solve for m for m and beta and this uh, this term alpha plus beta and finally we will solve for the py and py so what happens so this is alpha plus beta and when it will come in the num uh, numerator so minus alpha minus beta plus one so then alpha plus beta will be cancelled out and this is basically the beta this is alpha alpha plus beta and this negative sign will go outside finally we will have p 
पी पावर माइनस बीटा देन इट विल कम्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो इट विल बी द प्लस बीटा प्लस वन एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व इट सो फाइनली वी विल गैट द मार्शल डिमांड फंक्शन एम ओवर पी वाई इन टू बीटा ओवर अल्फा प्लस बीटा दिस विल टर्म इन द मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड सिंपली वी विल गैट दिस मार्शल डिमांड फंक्शन सो दिस इज टोटल अबाउट दैट वट इज द रॉयल आइडेंटिटी एंड वट इज द प्रैक्टिकल एम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ द रॉयल आइडेंटिटी